Hi everyone, Aldbar here. This is my solo walkthrough and guide to the level 18 heroic quest, Finding the Path, on the Elite Difficulty. Enjoy. Hi everyone, Wojak here. This quest takes place right off the harbor, inside of the Inspired Quarter. Our goal is to investigate what happened to Jeets. MPI followers of the path of inspiration lounge inside the spacious meeting hall. Perhaps the person in charge will be lucid enough to explain what happened to Jeets. If you give him the right, if you give him the wrong answer, we'll just make you talk to him again. You feel like you just close your eyes. But what is this place? Are you still asleep? If you've got true seeing on, you can see the quarry right on top of his head. This quest is very straightforward. It's basically stand here in the middle and defend your will. You'll have to kill 25 monsters and then you'll be able to face off against the boss fights. So yeah, that's pretty much how you just stand in the middle and protect. I don't believe there's any way to heal your will, so you'll have to try to make sure it does not take too much damage. So. Agro management is basically what it's up to. So the dreamy dark uses the path of inspiration to conquer its victims' minds. Tell Brian to me, must be told of this. But first, you must protect your will from the attackers. One of the ways you can track your progress is open up your kill count and that should give you an indication of where you're holding. As I said before, you have to have 25 kills and opening up your XP tab and just checking out the kills will give you an indication of when the boss is going to spawn in. It happens to be that this quest can be a bit tough for a solo player who doesn't have either good DPS or aggro management. Um, you can come in here and survive like five minutes and then just fail because you'll hit your will too many times and you'll fail the quest. So it's kind of tricky to do this solo on a weak character. Uh, just keep that in mind. You might want to have a party for this quest. One suggestion I might give you if you're a very weak character is try to bring a hireling and basically use him as aggro management. Well, just another thing to attack or have a summon monster. Basically anything you can do 
to buy you time so they don't stand like this reaver over here and hit the orb will save you with them because these monsters are not really that dangerous and you're not afraid of them killing you it's just that they hit on the orb a whole bunch and suddenly you fail the quest so i gotta say that the view over here the this dreamy outside world that they built the backdrop is pretty cool Twelve monsters, basically halfway there. There is a special item that can come from this quest uh, known as the Zakosian Ear Dweller. Or everybody just calls it the Ear Dweller or whatever because they can't say that first word and they're not sure how to say it. So, yeah. And while this quest is straightforward, it only takes about 10 minutes to do. If you have crazy DPS, you might be able to do one of the other optional quests even faster. But that's debatable, so. Might as well take my screen capture for my thumbnail. monsters to go and we'll be up to the boss fights I say boss fights you'll see this outside area is reminiscent of the dreaming dark there's already a full walkthrough and guide for that one Okay, here we go. Got our 25 kills and he's gonna summon them special bosses. This is the inevitable from Vaughn 3. Got this big skeleton that's from actually from I think from the subterrane. And the rust monster. That's from Vaughn 5. So this rust monster over here, when he dies, can drop the Zakosian Ear Dweller, so keep an eye out for it as soon as you kill him. This little tiny rust monster will run off and you have to kill it, and it drops a bag and you have to pick it up before it disappears. Anyway, I said boss fights, that was the first fight. I was going to stop and rest, but instead I'll just ask you to please hit like and subscribe if you're enjoying this video. And here we've got our second boss fight. This is the guy who sent us in. I'm just messing with him right now.
I wanted to make sure I trigger all the kills before I kill the boss. Yeah, he's not too tough, especially now that we've got epic destinies at this, at this level. Yeah, it's kind of a joke. Yep, so that's it. Here we get a chance at a crystal shard, or sometimes even, like you see here, a crystal disc. Those are used in the Mines Under quest. Oh, I almost forgot. And there you go. Here's the scorecard. I don't know why I seem to do this a lot. If I walk out of the quest, I always forget to open up the scorecard before I go. So I'm glad I remembered it this time. This is part of a chain of quests. This quest will flag you for the next one. That is, I Dream of Jeets. And there's already a video for that also. Yeah, once you complete this, you'll be flagged for I Dream of Jeets. Anyway, that's it. As usual, if you've benefited from this guide or if you've just enjoyed this video, please hit like and subscribe. Thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you all in a different video. Bye.